Hey everyone, welcome to a new Lightroom tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a very dark and cold shot out of this rather overexposed image using just a bunch of Lightroom adjustments. As always, you will find a link to the raw file in the description of the video if you want to follow along. And now let's jump into it. So here we are in Lightroom with the basic raw image. Right away, I do want to change the profile going from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard just to lessen the overall contrast and thus just have a bit more control of it myself. The first thing we want to do is to adjust the exposure since right now we don't really see much except for a very bright sky and a very bright ocean. So let's change that by bringing down the exposure and I'm dropping it quite a bit. Here it really helps to check the histogram while you're dropping the exposure to see where the image lies exposure wise. So right now that's a pretty decent spot. We do have a little bit of an exposure, but that's really not a big deal. And the overexposure is completely gone. And we also have recovered a bit of detail in the clouds and in the water. To further improve this effect, I do want to bring down the highlights just to see what we can recover else from those brighter areas. And then I do also want to bring down the shadows, which will make the image darker. And as I said, we want to have a very dark image. So let's just go with something like this. Looking good so far. At the same time, I do want to add contrast. And since we have brought down the highlights and the shadows, I now want to bring up the whites and I'm really, really careful here to not overexpose anything, but bringing up the whites in this case really helps to push the contrast. At this point, you can see there is some overexposure kicking in. I can hold down the Alt key so you can see where this is applied and you can see it's mainly in the sky. So with the whites set up like this, we need to fix the sky, but we are doing this with a bit of masking at a later point in the editing process. For now, what I want to do else is to just bring up the blacks slightly to get details in the very darkest parts of the image. I think that should be enough. Still, I'm not really happy with the contrast. So what I want to do next is to just play around with the contrast slider, raising it a bit and just giving the image some more punch. Wonderful. Now there's another trick I can use to enhance the contrast, plus I can use it to make the image a little clearer. And that's right down there in the presets tab with the dehaze. Let's just raise it very slightly, just like that. This will help to add a little more extra contrast. What I also want to do is to add a lot of clarity. And by a lot, I really mean a lot. You can see I'm pumping it up almost all the way up. That's not something I usually do, but in this case, it works really well with all the waves and the rain coming down from the sky and the waterfall in the center. So we are simply adding a lot more detail to the shot, making everything a lot more dramatic. For the same effect, I want to bring up the texture, adding some more sharpness to the smaller details. This is looking really, really good so far. And finally, in the intro, I mentioned I want this image to be cold, but I also want this image to be not that saturated. So I'm going to just drop the vibrance just a bit. Wonderful. Now, after just a few basic adjustments, we ended up with a completely different image. You can see when I'm toggling the before and after comparison. On the left, we have the overexposed original RAW file. And on the right side, you can see the edited version. Looks so much better, but we can still tweak it some more. So let's go ahead and do a bit of masking. For this shot, there is actually not that much going on. I do want to start with the simple linear gradient for the top portion of the image, just like that. And what I want to do here is to just bring down the exposure, making the top part darker and thus just making the image a little more dramatic. All right, at the same time, I do want to play around with the clarity, further increasing it in that area. Now, at this point, we might start to lose a bit of focus on the waterfall. I do want to change that, and for that, I'm going to create a radial gradient. I'm just roughly creating one that is covering most of the water that's going on in the center, just like that. 
And what I want to do here is to just play around with the texture and increasing the texture will just make more of those tiny water particles visible. Just adding more details to the shot. And for the same effect, I can play around with the clarity again. So we're shifting the attention more towards the waterfall once more. This is looking really, really good. All right, let's see, what can we do next? There is some real strange vignette going on right there in the upper right corner. I think we can fix it rather easily. Let's just go ahead and create a linear gradient. And I'm just trying to target this dark spot right in the corner. I think I have to deactivate the overlay for that. This is looking quite good. Maybe rotate it a bit. Let's see. All right, and what I want to do here is to simply raise the exposure to counter the darkness of the vignetting. Perfect. Then I do want to add one more linear gradient for the top left part, since I want to make this area more dramatic. And again, I'm just going to make use of some clarity. If you want to improve this effect further, we could use some contrast. Just keep in mind, if you push the contrast like this, the colors will start to change. And in this case, this looks quite weird. So what I want to do as well is to bring down the saturation to counter that effect. And that's the image after the masking adjustments. So we went from this to this with just a bunch of masks. Now I do think we're almost done editing this image. So let me see, we can do a bit of color grading, I guess. So for that, let me open up the HSL panel. And I think I want to bring down the yellow saturation just a bit as well as orange and green to reduce the colors of the grassy patches on the mountain in the center of the image. At the same time, we can go into the color grading tab here, I do want to work on the shadows, giving them a blue color tone like that. And just very slightly increasing the saturation. Just to give this image overall a colder look. We could try this on the midtones as well. Just using a very subtle amount of saturation. Wonderful. Then let's see. Maybe I could play around with some vignetting. So let's head into the effects tab. Just bring down the amount here. Just a little bit like that. And finally, I do want to apply some sharpening in the details tab. And as always, I'm going to bring down the radius. I'm increasing the details. Then just add some masking. So only the important parts will get sharpened like that. And introduce some more sharpening. And I guess that's the image after the Lightroom adjustments. Again, here you can see the comparison from before to after. Looks so much better. Still, I'm not quite happy with this image. There are a few things I want to clean up using a bit of Photoshop. So let's open up this image in Photoshop. So first, let me just duplicate that layer by hitting Ctrl J in case I mess something up. And then I'm grabbing the spot healing brush. And here are a few things I want to remove, just painting over them really roughly. Shouldn't be a big deal for that spot healing brush. Okay, that looks fine to me. Then there is still some vignetting left. I think I'm just going to use the clone stem tool here. Just copy an area right next to it by holding down Alt key and then just brush over the darkest parts. Perfect. So still some vignetting on the left. This might be a little harder to fix, but we can make it, I'm sure. Then let's see if we can give this image some more punch by applying a little bit of dodging. So let me create a new layer. And for the dodging part, I'm using the TK panel plugin. Again, as always, this is a paid plugin, but there's a free version available with all the needed settings. For the dodging stuff, I'm switching the blending mode to overlay. And I'm trying to target the highlights, which I want to brighten up. So let's go through the lights masks. This one is too general, so I'm going to move along. I think the lights to mask is quite good. So I'm applying this as a layer on the overlay layer. Then let's grab the brush by pressing B. Set the foreground color to white since we want to dodge and bring down the brush opacity to not overdo this effect. And now I'm just going to paint in 
a few times over a few certain areas I want to make brighter. This is looking so much better. I think I need to erase parts of it, however, again on the left side. I think this, this really doesn't need any more brightness. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So before I start overdoing things, I would say this is looking like a good image. And I have to stop at this point. So if you have any questions left about the editing, as always, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this Lightroom tutorial.